Hi again everybody, this is Joseph with a tutorial something that's actually done quite often obviously and uh, I, I think it deserves an explanation why it is being done like that the obvious is always about car batteries which one do we put which one do we connect first which one do we disconnect first but what's the reason behind it in summary or in be to begin with first of all when you measure voltage with a meter like I have here the first thing that you always do is you always put ground first always put the probe first so if I want to measure if I want to measure the car battery I always put negative first then positive why if I don't put negative first I'll become ground then the current goes through me and I'll complete the path how much current depends how much resistance in my body when it comes to car batteries we do the opposite why and to elaborate when it comes to car batteries first you always put the positive it doesn't matter if it's on <clears throat> if it's on the side or on top those are the rules you always put first the positive when you connect it and then you connect the negative now the reason behind it now let's say when you connect negative as you do over here when you connect negative it goes to the engine block which goes to the chassis and to the body and grounds everything everything is like one complete circuit a ground potential so therefore the alternator is at ground the frame of it this heat sink over here you can see this heat sink over here used for the ignition control module bolts metal so therefore the reason being if you would connect ground first now let's say I would have sometimes they use eight millimeter this is a little larger sometimes batteries use eight millimeter uh, 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 wrenches open end or whatever uh, whatever you want combination wrenches let's say if this would be and I don't have it in my hand but let's say this would be a metallic which it is first I have the ground hooked up now that means everything is electrified ground potential a everything is a ground potential chassis metal now let's say I go and I connect then the positive with my wrench which is eight millimeter by the way never use a power tool to take off cables from batteries these are low torque nuts there's no reason for it there is very little torque foot inches as opposed to foot pounds on your tires which is a hundred foot pounds so never use power tools even quarter inch always use hand tools so let's say if I would put like I said negative first then I put the positive well the everything around us basically is now metal which is now connected to engine block which is connected to the negative so if I go and I put the positive of the wrench to, to connect the positive I might touch something which is negative a ground potential because there's so much metal around frames like I just said bolts which is a ground potential so once I do this if I have a tool which is obviously metal unless it's insulated what I'm creating is obviously a direct short to ground now unless unless the wrench has a fuse in it which I've never seen obviously which is a would be a great invention or uh, a fusible link which would be a great invention in the the tool that's the reason behind it since we use metal tools we might gap something or bridge something from the positive to the ground which is all around us a ground potential metal is all around us
Therefore, that's one of the reasons. So, keep in mind, now, when you, obviously, when you disconnect something, obviously the logical thing is, first one, first what do you do? Always disconnect, obviously, the negative first. You don't want the chassis to be at ground potential. That means, if you're working on, let's say, airbag modules, and the steering wheel, or electronic modules, always disconnect the negative first. Always. No exceptions. That's the rule. Even when you give yourself a boost, when you boost your car battery, first the positive, then the negative. And remember, a low charge battery is not safe to go directly to the post, to the terminal. You should find something else, which is a ground. Could be the strut, could be the, the frame of the alternator, something that will make a good connection to the cable. But it is not safe to do it on a low charge battery if you are boosting it. So, with that in mind, obviously, keep that in mind, safety first. So, if you are uh, boosting something, like I just said, positive, then negative, doesn't matter if it's a booster, doesn't matter if it's jumper cables, negative goes last. When you're troubleshooting, like I just said, take off the negative cable, and that's enough. And when you do that, there is a, a, something where you lose the memory of the computer, if you, if you have it de uh, disconnected long enough, the, the, you lose the memory or the radio. There are these memory savers that you could put into the charger to hold the memory, but that's a small point. The safety is more, more important. So keep that in mind, please. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel of Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph. And also, please subscribe to my other channel of Joe Electronics Schematics, which is dealing with diagrams. And now I have to make another video, which is a little confusion about parasitic drawers. Thanks for watching.